Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in again. Wanted to give you guys an update on the Carsef throttle body spacer. I've taken it out for a little spin and uh, so far, I mean, it's pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, don't notice any gains. Yes, I do a little bit. I do notice some gains on a low end, mid range. I haven't ran it hard. I haven't taken it past, you know, 4,000 RPM yet because I have my, um, of course, if you know, I have the uh, Flash Pro short ram uh, intake calibration loaded up so b tech engagement is at about 4250 so i haven't even hit 4000 yet uh so i've been kind of waiting for this moment to share with you guys see how that goes if the camera's a little bit shaky i do apologize i just got a little cheapo window mount um it's holding my phone so bear with me right now otherwise driving it normal uh, it, it feels really good it feels really really nice the thing that I, I kind of wish it still had was uh, when you drive on part throttle maybe 30 40 percent uh, with the short ram intake you hear that kind of suction coming from the filter uh, that there after the spacer is completely completely gone it's gone gone went away completely so I'm like dang it you know I was hoping I would hear like a little whistle or something and uh, I haven't um, haven't noticed anything yet. So that little suction sound from the intake completely gone. So that's kind of a bummer, you know. I like that, I like the little sound, you know. Driving sometimes I just kind of hear it, and uh, you know it's, it's it's gone. But it's cool, you know. Whatever, you know. Get a little you know, a little exchange for you know a few 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 wheel horsepower. So it's it's not bad. Uh, do I notice that a lot a lot of gains? I mean I don't know. It is noticeable though, because like I, I do keep an eye on my uh, miles per hour on there, and I do check to see, you know, when you accelerate, you kind of remember those numbers that hits, you know, 21, 25, or whatever at part throttle or whatever, or you know, halfway, you know, 60, 70 percent throttle. You kind of get to memorize um, where, where it's gonna, the numbers gonna land next. Uh, this one here, I did. You know, I normally went from 21 to 25 miles per hour, but now after this, uh, I noticed it once, I went from 21 to 26, so that's kind of a, a nice little difference. I didn't do anything different, uh, just regular driving, but um, it, it's, uh, it's good, it's good. So once the road opens up here, I just want to see if I can, you know, give it a little bit of, a little bit of more throttle, right? I want to step on it a little bit just to see if I notice anything or hear anything. <clears throat> right now I have my sunroof open. Let's just go ahead and close that. <clears throat> see if we hear any, anything noticeable. Alright, so there's a car. You see, well, you see the car up there. There's a truck coming up behind me. Let's see if we can do a little quick third gear. But yeah, otherwise, like I said, if you guys saw the video, it's, an, it's, a, it's a cool little video. Awesome, awesome little mod. Very easy to install. You can have it done in, you know, 15, 20 minutes uh, from start to finish. So it's really not bad at all. Um, I recommend everyone, you know, try it out. See if you like it. Uh, if you have a, you know, colder intake like the engine or something or AEM or a, a engine knockoff. It is gonna. It's not gonna sit where the Viper bump goes underneath the bumper, behind the bumper. Uh, it's not gonna bolt up there anymore whatsoever. So you, you know you're gonna have to try to, you know, work with it there somewhere. Um, but if uh, you guys ever thought about trying it out, I mean, yeah, I definitely worth it. You think it's worth trying, especially if you're gonna spend a hundred bucks. I mean, for a hundred bucks, you know, you get a little bit more better driving experience, drivability, and you feel a little bit of a difference on low and mid range. And hold on, let me get past this construction. Yeah, it is noticeable. I mean, the car stuff's throttle body spacer, I found it to be one of the cheaper ones. 
and uh, it works just the same. It's a reputable brand. Uh, it's awesome. I like the, the silver finish on it. And, you know, I think I paid about 50 or 60 bucks on it. 23 each on the throttle bike spacer. And about 35, 34, 35, 36 for the intake manifold uh, gasket. So, yeah, so, oh shit, the fuck. Fucking bitch, man. That stupid truck behind me. All of a sudden, I see him coming and his back tire starts smoking. I'm like, oh shoot. This guy's about to hit me. Here's my exit. Jeez. What the hell was all that about? Did I end up paying attention or what? Jeez. Ah, I wish I could show you guys, man, but there's freaking cars and all that. Bastard. Dude, pay attention, man. Alright, cool. So, of course, as you know, if anybody's out there making videos or anytime you're driving, just pay attention to the road. Be aware of surroundings because other people just don't seem to be paying attention when they drive. And no texting. Guilty. Alright, anyways. <clears throat> that's... Damn. Lucky that there's no traffic. No cross traffic. Otherwise, it would have caused something. Me just trying to go over that... Uh, the, the line of the red light. Alright, so it's a little bit more... Construction here. So, let's get out of here real quick. something to get in the way right that's life all right cool but yeah for 100 bucks uh, it's it's definitely worth it uh car steps was, was one of the cheaper ones uh that i that i uh, that i came across picked that up and it works great the one that i got uh, like i said it's oem size it's for the stock throttle body <clears throat> for now my intake setup is done uh, the short ram, throttle body gasket, spacer, intake manifold, gasket, you know, works just like the Honda one, uh, you know, to maintain temperatures, doesn't cool, but it just maintains the temperature from, you know, overheating too much, but it, it, it certainly works. I think the intake side of my car is completely done. Uh, today sucks. I, nah, I'm not going to be home when UPS comes and drops off my rotors and pads. I went to pick up on eBay, I picked up the the Centric cross drill slotted rotors for the Civic and the ceramic pads. Normally what I'm used to doing in my previous cars is I went out and picked up the power stop set, cross drill rotors and slotted rotors with their Evo ceramic pads. Uh, <clears throat> but this time I decided to go, um, you know, I don't want to say cheap, but less expensive. I did look up the material on the uh, Centric. I know Centric is a, is a, uh, a pretty known uh, OEM replacement parts uh, warehouse or whatever distribution uh, company. And so I decided to pick it up. You know, I'm like, hey, you know what? For 100 bucks, for $110 for front and rear rotors, pads, framing pads, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, you know, so we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna do an unboxing, reveal it to you guys do an installation on it as far as my front caliper passenger caliper I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, I would just pick that up from CarQuest should be good should have a nice little warranty or whatever and if I don't do both I'll just do that one side on the passenger because it kind of it's just kind of like you know it's starting to get a little sticky so after that, it should be good. The car should be good maintenance-wise. Uh, suspension all around is great. Uh, pads, rotors, that's gonna get replaced. Front caliper, that's gonna get replaced. My rears are fine, everything is great. Um, interior of the car, 100% bone stock. Everything is clean, everything is perfect. Um, <clears throat> exterior, everything is 100% stock. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with my lighting yet, like, you know, upgrade my my uh my headlamps at all or anything like that or you know go hids or you know leds or 
you know, whatever. I've been playing with that idea of getting something that'll brighten up my lights a little bit, but uh, I'll think about that later on. Otherwise, <clears throat> after that, the next best thing is going to be the best thing, and that is going to be a header. I'm still eyeballing that NVIDIA header. Uh, I really, really would, would appreciate anyone's feedback on the NVIDIA um, K-tuned <clears throat> stainless header, the 409 stainless, which I'll get painted, or I'll paint myself. And... Of course, the Skunk 2. I'm trying to avoid the Skunk 2 because I do not want to stiffen my rear motor mount right now. Um, I'm going to tell you guys. I didn't tell you guys before. I'll show you guys because, like, again, one of those things where it's just like the timing was inappropriate. I went ahead and filled my rear motor mount on the bottom uh, with some window treatment. I think it's like the, the 45 grade um, polyurethane. Uh, and... Um, I don't want to go any stiffer. It feels perfect. It feels great right now. It feels awesome. But I do not want to go any stiffer at all. I don't want to turn on the car and have it go vibrate or something or hear like a quick little knock when I turn on the AC or anything like that. I do not want that whatsoever. No, 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 no. Um, I want this car to stay as original as possible and all the feature, um, you know, keep everything the same. All features the same, all comforts and all that the same. And what else what else um ah, my heat shield for my cat it's getting worse and worse and worse i went and inspected uh, a couple months back and the heat shield is rattling i got a rattling heat shield you know it's totally common with these cars and hondas and one of my little taps on the cat broke off so the heat shield is just kind of like slapping against each other one of the bolts is um gone so you know it's rattling every single time i drive it every time i turn it on every time i pull in pull out it rattles it sucks it's annoying more of a reason to buy a header which is gonna be the next thing that I'm gonna do but I'm just trying to pace myself and not do anything all crazy and jump the gun and all that stuff so looking forward to that hopefully I get a chance uh, this weekend to show you guys uh, my pad rotor installation and do a caliper on this car do the brakes all the good stuff after that uh, deciding which header I want uh, I would I would you know like I said I would appreciate you guys letting me know best header combination with the NVIDIA Q300 of course the NVIDIA header is going to be perfect with that uh, but I'm looking for a specific sound something very mellow very deep nothing raspy at 8000 rpm or 7500 rpm and before my last 8th gen I had the DC header and the Q300 it was a perfect sound I know the bigger header is going to change it up just a little bit, especially with the different intake and all that good stuff. But uh, give me some, some suggestions on a nice header. Uh, of course, if I want price, I'm going to go with either the K Tune or Scum 2. But I really, really. Right now, there's an. Oh, right now, there's an NVIDIA header on eBay right now, 450 ship. Awesome deal, awesome deal, awesome deal. The guy also has the NVIDIA Q300 uh, for sale. I think in total it's going to be about 470 shipped, but honestly, <clears throat> for uh, for 30 bucks more, I'm going to go ahead and grab a brand new unit. And I opened up a credit card specifically for my exhaust or exhaust header, where I get a $200 cashback reward bonus. So that's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, get a nice little header or exhaust on the cheap. Get, get the cashback rewards, take advantage of that. So you gotta be smart when you're buying up all this stuff for your car. We'll just go all gung-ho and try to catch up, keep up with uh, all these other tuners and all these other guys that have more money or less bills than we do. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, car step spacer. Uh, you know what, we're at a light here. Uh, no. I wasn't able to do much, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'll make another video sh shortly. See if um, I can give you guys a little sprint or something. But right now, let's see how it goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one. Later.